We're here. <laughs> we're here and not. We're here. We were going to be somewhere else. But we're not. But we're not. We were going to be in, in, in be- well, beautiful. I don't know. We we're, were going to be in, I was going to. In a lot of fun Grand Prairie. We were going to be in Grand Prairie. <laughs> in great personality Grand great Prairie. Great personality Prairie. <laughs> 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 See, that would have been a good riff to say on stage. Oh, would have Had been. we been. In Grand Prairie. Especially because grand is uh, French for big. (laughs) (laughs) Big ass prairie. It's not big. It has a good personality. (laughs) I I tried to figure out some stuff about Grand Prairie before we went. And what did you figure out? (laughs) It's called... There's there's trucks? The the Swan City because swans, uh, I think, migrate around there or something. Mm. I've get, that's a question I've always wondered. This feels like it might have been someone's bit, but it is a question I've always wondered. Is like, why are they Canadian geese and not wherever they go the other half of the year oh, geese? I wonder if wherever they go the other half of the year geese, they call call them that. They're like, oh, it's Peruvian geese season. <laughs> yeah, they're like, ah, the Peruvian geese heading north for the summer. Yeah, <laughs> don't care what they don't care what they do. Don't it's care what it's like people who, who who have cats that roam around the neighborhood, and you <laughs> found out they have a second family, and you're like, motherfucker, what? Yo, what? <laughs> Your name is also Pedro? That's it's, crazy. <laughs> my brother, his cat started out as someone else's cat. Ooh. <laughs> Stole him or what? Not kind Took of. Him? Not really. Just stopped going home after a while. Oh, yeah. It was free yeah. to come and go as it pleased, and then it just stayed. Instead of yeah, me. I don't get that about cats. Like you wouldn't. <laughs> it do was that. just like I like this house better. Yeah, I mean, and then they moved, and they're like, "I guess you're coming with us." <laughs> yeah, and then like you can't be upset if that cat runs away on you because you're like, "Well, yeah," you're like, well, "Remember that cat we used to have yeah. once a week?" It's like if you like something, let it go. And, <laughs> your cat's you know. like, it's like you lost custody of your kids because your wife got like a job in a bigger city. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. But yeah, I used to get the kids on the weekend, but the wife moved to Toronto, so... Yeah, well... Don't think I'm going to see them till they're adults. Yeah. Maybe even not then. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Cats are the best, dude. I would take a cat over a dog any day. Get at me, dog people. Really? It's a morning show. We've got opinions. That's right. Hard hitting. Why, why is that? I've always, I've always thought, because like, I would like a pet, but I'm like, ah, dog's a lot of work. Then I'm like, yeah. can a guy have a cat? Yeah, of course. You just got to buy a sick cat. He's got to buy a sick cat. Yeah, that's the thing. Is your cat's got to be One of those sick. ones that looks like uh, a Not nutsack. like... <laughs> <laughs> Not sick, like unwell, sick, like fucking cool. Trust me, I'm hip and with it. Okay. I know what you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, <laughs> I was about to use ill as a, a synonym for sick to try and explain. You no, know, not sick. Like, like ill. Ill. Oh, yeah, fuck. Like, uh, <laughs> you still don't get it? <laughs> um, yeah, you just have to have a cool cat. That's, that's true. Because you can't. Uh, that's Also, we always had adult cats because my mom was like a... One of those people, she was like, no, everyone mm-hmm. adopts the babies and you, everyone mm-hmm. pays for cats. So we would go like adopt like used cats. Used cats, yeah. <laughs> we would always go get yeah. the ones that people either abandoned or abused or yeah, like were born in the shelters. So and they're like, well, we can't put them on the streets, but a fucking pregnant cat came in here. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So because actually the Edmonton Humane Society is dope. They're like a no kill shelter. They don't. Nice. Yeah. So <laughs> they <laughs> they don't, you know, <laughs> so, murder them. Yeah, 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 they don't gently murder them. <laughs> they don't kindly murder them to death. Well, if you're going to be murdered, kindly would be better than It is like with a whole heart that they murder them. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. They murder them you know, so I would even, gently and I would kindly. even call it manslaughtering them. <laughs> Man, I don't know, they're not men though. Well, but that's the charge. <laughs> that's the charge. Man- manslaughter. Kitty slaughtering. I don't know. Kitty slaughter. It's got dark. Anyways, uh, they don't do that there. They don't kill well, anything. That's, that's good. Yeah, but they spay it and neuter them and stuff. Yeah. And then every once in a while, they get overloaded. Because my mom was not going to get us a cat. So we had like four or something. And she was like, I'm done. <laughs> Fucking two. Four cats. Like too many. Ca- well, we had two and then they died. And then we got another one. Okay, and then it died. Yeah. And then we got another one. And then she was like, I'm done getting cats. And then the Humane Society was like, we have too many cats, so they're free. Yeah. 
And my mom was like, ah, I can't. Yeah, what a deal. Well, not even what a deal. She was like, they literally need to get rid of these cats. And like, yeah. I want a cat, but I know that I shouldn't get a cat. But like, they need to get rid of them. And I want one. So like, yeah. give, give me it. I'll have the cat. <laughs> yeah. So then we went and picked out the cat. And I got to choose. And the, that's the best because you get to go in there already adults and you get to find which one you already like. Oh, yeah. You don't have to wait to see if it's going to suck. Well, that's what I was going to ask. How do you know if it's a sick cat? Well, you go in. Like, Mosby was sick. He was just, like, chilling. And then you go up to the cage and he'd, like, walk up. That's the thing. Some cats are fucking assholes and they'll hiss at you and they'll be whatever. But some cats literally just get curious and they smell you and then they just kind of, like, lay down. And you're like, that's a sick cat right nice. there. Hmm. Maybe I'll get a cat. Yeah. I like it. Because the dog, like, it's just so much work. And, like, everyone always talks about how dogs are, like, smart or, like, dogs are, like, loyal or whatever. It's like, no, they just respond to abuse eventually. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have to train a dog. If you don't train it, they're fucking horrible. They're wild animals that piss all over your house. And yeah, yeah, scream yeah. scream at the mailman every time he comes by and bite kids. And, like, right. they're absolutely the worst if you don't train them. And all training them is abusing and rewarding them to set their mind into a certain pattern. It's like, yeah. They're, they ain't shit. They're not smart or loyal or like cognitive. They have no. They just understand patterns through repetition of abuse and yeah, like treats, which cats can fucking do too. You just don't have to. That's why no one trains their cats. Yeah, we yeah. taught our cat how to sit. We used Eggo waffles as the treat. <laughs> we had two cats that could shit, sit and shake a paw. They weren't like a dog where you could be like sit and it would like fucking be like Whoo, and sit there, but you could be like. Hey, fucking sit down and show it an egg a waffle and it would like put its ass down reluctantly. <laughs> and you're like, there you go. There you go. I did it. It was fucking dope. But like you can't, you can train anything. Motherfuckers do it with like mice and like yeah. pigeons. Like how That's do you think true. carrier pigeons came to be? Horses abuse. getting broke. Like it's all just abuse and treats. Like your dog's not yeah. a genius. You learned it to how to be a good house dog. Yeah. Hopefully, which most of you didn't. Ooh. So like Fuck owning a dog is like this weird... When someone has a good, well-trained dog, I'm like, yo, this is sick and I'd love to hang out with this thing. But you mm. had to abuse and treat the yeah. shit out of that thing for years. And like, it spent so much time and like, you can't spend the night away from it. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. What is it, a baby? You can't spend the night gone? Like, you can't go, you can't leave in the morning and not come home for like a full 24-hour cycle. You just can't. It'll fuck everything up. It'll piss places. Like yeah. they get anxiety. Some of them like they get crazy diseases. You can just let a cat die. <laughs> <laughs> you can just let it die. You don't have to get it like treatment. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you know the, big, the bigger the dog, the more human like the shit that you're picking up is. Oh god, yeah. You have to pick up their shit. I can't believe people talk about a litter box like it's less gross than picking up a dog's shit. Yeah. Like get out of here. Yeah. I that's you know just the whole that whole aspect of pet ownership yeah is just not my favorite and honestly if the litter box the one argument that everyone has with like it shits in the house Ew, that's gross you can just spend like three hundred bucks and get a crazy futuristic litter box that like sifts itself out and puts it in a bag and seals it off for you like e there you go three hundred bucks to solve all your issues yeah. that's like. A cat's a hundred dollars and a dog's two G's. You've already saved nineteen hundred bucks. Yeah. Invest in the litter box. That's true. And then you skip doggy training and all the fucking treats you gotta buy. Win, 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 yeah. win, win. And then you leave it alone for the weekend with a bowl of water and food while you go skiing. Like, oh, my dog's knee it needs replaced. You're like, yeah. oh. I have a friend whose dog like threw its own spine out while it was like running in a field. Jesus. This is like every dog is so not a fucking dog anymore that they all have like hereditary issues because mm -hmm. none of them are bred to be good dogs anymore. Yeah. It's like unless you're getting a German Shepherd. Bad dogs. Unless yes, you're getting a German Shepherd, you ain't getting a dog. A Chihuahua's not a dog. I'm sorry. Like evolutionarily, yeah. dogs came from like wolves. Yeah. You yeah. think that's a dog? You're telling me that's a dog? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then all these other. I, dude, have you seen those big gangster fucking cats? No. Oh, they're so main, main coons. 
I think they're called. Jesus. Those are dope. I think those are the big fluffy ones. And then there's these other ones. I forget what they're called. But, but they look like little leopards. They're like spotted and they stand oh, nice. like two feet tall and they have like long, like skinny tails and they're all hypoallergenic. They're nice. fucking sweet. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't think guys could get cats. <laughs> you just thought it wasn't. You're like, no. Nah. People would be like, they wouldn't let you. You go to the humane yeah. society. They're like, I'd like a cat. They're like, hmm. the, the dog section's over there. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought people would talk about me like that guy. Pretty cool, but uh, he's got a cat. He's got a cat. That's funny. My brother has two cats. All right. Yeah, well, that's good. They're pretty cool. Yeah, I like that's them. good to know. They moved. They moved from Vancouver to Norway. My dad was so funny. My dad was like, he's like, you can't move cats. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother's like, yeah, we're gonna take them. He's like, ah, what? How? <laughs> and he's like, how? And then he was like talking about like you got to do whatever. And he's like, it was like a few hundred bucks or whatever to like mm-hmm. get them shipped over, like whatever. And my dad was like, oh, hundreds of dollars? No, like just leave no. the cats. Like and my dad was like, just. Fuck them. Just leave them. They're cats. <laughs> They're cats. <laughs> like, Let them die. It's like, eh, just open the door. <laughs> just. That's fantastic. It's so good. And my brother's girlfriend is like in love with them. They're like, they're her children. She gets yeah, them yeah. like collars that are like nice and <laughs> yeah. like little pendants and shit. And oh, well, that's adorable. Yeah. Sends pictures of them in good lighting. Well, you need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need that, absolutely. Man, did you hear about uh, Chappelle show? The whole controversy this, this week? No, didn't it get bought by someone or something? So it, it got, it was, uh, it, Netflix was going to start streaming it. Okay. And, uh, and then all of a sudden it was yanked from Netflix and everyone was like, oh my God, I wonder what happened. And it turns out that uh, Viacom or whoever owns it, who owns Comedy Central or whatever, wasn't paying Dave Chappelle any yeah. any money for the streaming and so yeah dave Chappelle went to netflix and said this doesn't make me feel good i would like you to pull it off and they did yeah because he fucks with netflix and they fuck with him yeah but it was just an interesting moment of like uh like real star power being like hey man they're not paying me for this yeah i love that that's happening okay because that's so crazy there's been some weird um stuff going on in the celebrity world like that lately so there i i heard about them not paying dave Chappelle, and i was like oh that's fucked up but i didn't know that he was like yank it and they did that's sweet Mm -hmm. because i heard about that um but another one is taylor swift her albums are like owned by someone else like her masters yeah yeah, like someone bought all the masters and won't sell them back to her like she's like i'll pay you like who whatever i'll pay for them just i would like to have them please Mm -hmm. and he's like no and so she was like yeah okay well i'm just gonna rent studio space and i'm gonna re-record all of my own songs as like brand new tracks and then just own those masters and then just sell them to all the radio stations and all the streaming oh, sites really? and tell everyone just to download those ones instead. So fuck you. Whoa. <laughs> it's like, That's yo, crazy. what? Yeah. Actually, girl. damn. Yeah. She was like, I'll go. Fuck it. It's six albums. What's that going to take a few hours? Let's go. I'll warm my vocals up, baby. Get my guitar strumming. Shit. That's pretty badass. That's fucking gangster. I was like, yo, Taylor's like the man. Taylor, Taylor's the man. I love Taylor Swift, bro. I, Taylor's, a, oh, Taylor's a chick. I want to marry her. I want to marry the man. <laughs> Taylor's the man. I'm like, I don't think Alex knows what Taylor Swift is. <laughs> <laughs> I think he maybe just read the headline. <laughs> I think it's a corporation. Body fucking Tay Tay? Guy's a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, that, that's awesome. Yeah, I think um, it's sick. And uh, yeah, with the Chappelle stuff too, he's just like, he's like yeah, he's, he said like, the Viacom was like, oh, you signed the contract, it was in the contract. He's yeah. like, yeah, but is it right? Yeah. Well, that's the thing, like, it's so weird that contracts have these like, endless clauses because it's kind of unfair, but it's kind of not unfair because you understand, like, I understand the contract from the standpoint of 
okay, Dave Chappelle, you have a TV show. It went well, year one. We're going to sign you for a couple more years. We own the thing. We'll pay you this much money. Sounds good. And he's like, hell yeah, thank you. They make two more years. Now it's one of like the most well-known shows on planet Earth, like defined mm-hmm. a whole generation and is like he's looked to as like a leader almost in this whole movement, like that uh, seven, uh, what was it, 752 or whatever, the... Uh, the special that he oh, released. 846. 840. Is that the number? I, think, I forget. I think so. I think I'm, I'm, yeah, whatever. I feel bad for not knowing it. That's but, okay. But whatever the, <laughs> the number was, the George Floyd special, like, yeah. was so amazing. And, like, the Chappelle show is, like, so huge that, like, it's insane that it still stands under the same rule as it did when it was a one year I in know. show under an extension contract. It's like, that's so crazy because it doesn't go the other way. Like when it goes the other way with an athlete, when you know that their stock's going to drop off, not go up, you don't go, all right, well, we'll sign you at year four and we have to pay you this for the rest of forever. It's like, well, we'll pay you this until it starts to suck. Yeah, that barely ever happens. Yeah, so yeah. like it's crazy that it's not the other way. We're like, well, we'll pay you this till it starts to get good, and then we'll pay you more when it gets good. They're like, we'll pay you this, and then fuck you if it gets good, it's ours forever, and if yeah. it doesn't, then hey, who cares? Yeah. Yeah, it's insane, and and like that stuff is worth a lot of money. Like yeah, masters man. and stuff of, of of a popular artist, like that's worth a lot yeah. of money. Well, it's cool to see the world moving in a direction now that is kind of away from that. It's seeing like how badly the music industry fucked artists for a while, mm-hmm. and like having Taylor Swift do that and having Chappelle do that, and a lot of these guys are making their own stuff now. Like Rogan always talks about making your own stuff, and like uh, oh, who's that musician? I think something hardy in Canada that like he has his own label sure. anyways, but it was like what Drake did and like what Jay Z did, like making your own label and being like, no, nah, I'm going to do this shit. Like for me mm-hmm. is becoming like so much more popular and like not getting shout fucked. out to Billy James records, the Edmonton tapes. Yes, sir. Like not getting <laughs> like just not getting fucked by managers and bookers yeah. and entertainment industry. Like just fucking weird like creepy take your money yeah. kind of do these well, mysterious so things. much of the so much of the technology and so much of the like the access to the the ability to make music in a room rather you know just in a room in your place rather than having to go and access uh you know expensive studio space or, or even just like the the ability to like what it what it takes now to get the software to become a producer compared to what it was 10 Bro, t- 15, 20 years ago it was much, much, much more difficult to be to have access to everything to get that good. Now it's all here. Like, so- do you know how hard it used to be to get a track to lay vocals on? Like to actually really hard, yeah. to get like your own custom individual track that no one else has ever heard to like lay vocals over. Mm-hmm. You had to like know a DJ personally and like get him yeah. to like record something for you. Yeah. Like now you just go on the internet and you're like, okay, free track download from SoundCloud, like take this and then just lay over the beat and yeah. shout the guy out on Instagram. Yeah. And it's just, it's the, the ability to, to do a lot of the heavy lifting is now right in people's hands. Whereas before you sort of needed someone with a lot more, like I think photography is the best example. Like, Oh, you could have a, you know, 10 years ago, you could buy a $20,000 lens for your camera or whatever. You could learn all these different things to do to photos. And then you come into, you know, you come into our current era and a filter is just, you just swipe it onto a picture yeah. and you can do all this it's insane all editing stuff. Yeah. You can do all this insane stuff. Yeah. And everyone's, you know, a brand new phone is the best camera you'll ever have owned probably at that point. And yeah. just the, the, it, the the access point to the regular person to now be a great photographer is right there. It's like a you know five hundred a thousand bucks. Yeah, mm. man. It's insane how much like this is one of those like butterfly effect things where like or whatever hindsight's twenty twenty. I guess it kind of fits in both of those, mm-hmm. where like the lens is an invention that has become so vital to humanity. Oh like, man, yeah. But but because it's gone like not only. This is a fun. I heard. Uh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Fuck, he has a bunch of names, and he's <laughs> he's the super smart astrophysicist guy, Neil deGrasse Tyson. A uh, bunch of names. <laughs> um, three names. Old three names. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, Neil deGrasse Tyson 
was talking about this, how like a lot of times the things that things are invented for end up like getting taken and used in some other thing mm. and become like this whole huge other invention. Cause like lenses for glasses are what ended up being used in microscopes and telescopes, like mm. in both senses and also in cameras. So they make things bigger. They make things smaller. They see from like, I mean, it eventually led to like electron microscopes that right. don't really use lenses, but whatever. But sure, but it led the, to them. Yeah, the predecessor of them was lenses that led us to see like the tiniest of tiniest things, like little microbes and mm -hmm. cells to also like the most distant like stars in the furthest galaxies that we can imagine. Yeah. And like they're both just from the invention of someone who's like, oh, if you bend glass, it fucks with the light and you can see closer or further away. Like the inspector with his like, yeah. little <laughs> fucking magnifying glass, like yeah. doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, <laughs> doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. like that's yeah. how we discovered that like everything but insane stuff because like the stuff that we discover out in space leads to inventions here on earth like mm -hmm. that was the neil degrasse tyson thing he was talking about how uh x-rays were invented because someone was trying to like find a way to like see further into space. So they're just trying to see what like throwing different radio waves out would happen. Mm -hmm. And they figured that like if they sent x-rays out, they could get this like weird, like skeletal view of a bunch of stuff. And they're like, Oh shit, this would be useful for like some other thing. And like hmm. microwaves were invented for the same way. Like they're used, they were trying to find stars in space and they found out that microwaves fuck with water molecules. And then that oh, creates shit. heat through friction. And like, that can heat up food. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. it was, like, but wow. it was all because of a fucking, some dude invented lenses. He was like, well, you can bend light with glass. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. It's, it's really remarkable how smart, uh, you know, a, a slice of every generation is mm -hmm. just the ability to, to take things that other people have created or create their own things. Well, and just how crazy far it's gone because think outside the box, because then they've also managed to put it in our phones and it gets so much better every time that like the cameras that we have in our phones are better than most cameras available for like just regular consumers. That's why like I say 15 sexting years ago is crazy because it's like, you get the best camera you've ever owned to take a, take a picture of your cock. Like, yeah. you'd think, you know, the flip phone era I always talk about is like, it was kind of like a fuzzy shape. And yeah, it was yeah. like, is that your cock? And you're like, yeah. 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 But now it's like the best camera you've ever owned yeah, is going to show every you. imperfection. They're going to see deep in your soul through you that a, thing. You got a birthmark on there? Yeah. You know, well, uh, they'll sh the, if you don't know about it, they'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, everyone's walking around with like, incredible cameras and even you see you see what that development has done for our society in terms of like what cell phone footage has 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 done and you know in terms of account of like police accountability and or just a you know yeah those like body cams and, and stuff or just just someone being there to take a video well and you know what's really interesting i thought about this a little bit lately all from the lens yeah i've been thinking about like, so this is the first, I guess not the first, but like definitely within the last like 20, 25 years is the most like prolific era of video evidence. Like we have video evidence yeah. on so much stuff, but not even just for like juries and like all that shit, but for like ourselves, for our arguments with like, mm -hmm. you know, loved ones or your arguments with a bouncer or an argument with yeah. whatever. Yeah. For the first time, we really have like video and audio recording that's clear, that's going all the time. And we're kind of learning that like as much as people believe their own stories, it's usually bullshit. Yeah. Like that old, I know it's an old saying, but it's really, really like starting to reign true that like there's three sides to every story, like my side, your side and the truth. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's long documented that we're all bad witnesses mm -hmm. to stuff. Right, yeah. just in general, Wonders. we're all bad witnesses. And you look at the v the fact that we all have video. It's like, mm. yeah, have you seen that Black Mirror episode about that, where they can like tap into your memory yeah. and like watch it or whatever? I don't yeah. like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. super it's gross weird. when they're like yanking it to old sex videos in their heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah. 
But that's what it's a weird episode. You would do that, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> that's so what? what we would all do. That that show um, creeps me out. I can't even like watch all Black of Mirror. It. Yeah, do I can only funny? watch like an episode every now and then. <laughs> one of the episodes that everyone really really likes is like one of my least favorite episodes. Which one is it? The one with the weird robot dogs. Oh, I don't know that one. Do you know the one where they they like play the video game together? They're like the. Yeah, I've seen every episode. Yeah, so it's like the two guys who play like a, oh, like a fight yeah, game yeah, together. They, yeah. and then they just, oh, man, that one made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> me too, dude. It was so weird. And I was watching it with my girlfriend and she was like, well, my girlfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. And she was like, basically just being like, this would totally be you and your best friend. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, no. <laughs> no <laughs> she's like yeah what if if he was hot you guys would totally bang i was like okay but he's like not like he's not a hot woman and she's like but he would be in the game and i was like i don't want to talk about this <laughs> <laughs> because you know it's true but but no because i wouldn't because no, i would just be random people Actually, yeah, that was, that's the problem. That's what I was worrying that, about. That was the crazy part of that episode where it was when the guy's just like, just go fuck other people in the game. And he's like, I have. It's not the same. And oh, there's someone yeah. having like gangbangs in this well, fighting game. That's the thing. Like, that's what that would lead to immediately. And I remember talking. That's the other thing. I said that at the beginning of the episode. This episode. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> this episode was a, a weird one to watch. Because I remember at the beginning, I was like, if you could be like these physical, I was like, people are just going to start fucking. Yeah. Like as yeah. soon as you see them, like be hot characters, like, Oh, they're just going to start fucking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. And then like five minutes later, he's like, I fucked everyone in the game. It's not the same. Yeah, like, oh, I want to fuck man. you. You're my best friend. I'm like, Oh my God. What is happening? Yeah. Yeah. I want to get you in game pregnant. Yeah. I want to have, Video game children with you. What? <laughs> <laughs> the orgasms are real. Oh, man. And then at the very, well, I don't know how to spoil it or whatever, but at the very end, he gets to do it once a year with his buddy. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like their little, like, staycation. The, the wife gets to go, like, have real sex with someone, and he gets to go sit on the couch and go and have video game sex with his best friend, who's a. Yeah. Who's a man. The thing is that it would ruin hanging out in real life because you couldn't do that in the <laughs> game and then go over to his place for a beer. What's up, bro? <laughs> yeah, I, do we kiss? <laughs> do we kiss? Can we touch hands? Yeah. It, yeah, that would, that would create a weird dynamic in your friend group, wouldn't it? Yeah, in your real life? like what? Yeah, two, yeah. two guys in your friend group start being all like weird to each other. Just all like, coy. Yeah, like, hey, man, what's up? You guys play Street Fighter? Yeah. Bro, the worst part would be how weird it would be when you... Because... I'm thinking how much... What I want to say on the podcast. Okay. Join I just our Patreon for Alex's real thoughts. Like, it would just be weird because all of a sudden, like, two dudes would stop ever touching each other's dicks. Like, you know what I mean? There would be no more, like... Like I don't want to say play gay shit because it seems demeaning. Play gay shit. But like me and my buddies do like fake gay shit all the time. Like because it's yeah we just it's funny. Yeah, it's hard to explain. We're people. hanging around, but you just like just like stand there. And you just put your hand like on a guy's sack, and it's funny. Yeah, like and then it'll be like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I remember this from the game. <laughs> yeah, but that would be weird because it would just stop happening between two guys. Big, like, it would be weird to be like. Hey, you notice Dave hasn't touched Steve's butt in like six months? That would make homophobic straight guys stop doing gay shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and then it would be confusing to their friends. They'd be like, why did these two homophobes yeah. stop doing all the gay shit? Yeah, you, you'd, you'd think their beliefs would stop them from doing gay shit, but... No. Nope. Nope. It's... It's virtual video game sex. <laughs> what it takes man hot video game people hot oh man video game fucking so we were talking about remember the guy on zoom who pulled his thing out and started doing yeah doing doing the thing i saw a story right before he came over a school board like person in new jersey this lady was on the school board and was like already like a a you know a divisive character but Mm -hmm. during a meeting she 
had to go to the bathroom and she went to the bathroom and brought her laptop and her camera was still on and people watch her do her bathroom stuff and then flush. So she said to resign from her job. What do people think? What are they? What's going on, man? Why would you even bring your? What? Why would you bring your laptop? Yeah. Yes. I, why would you bring it? I have never in my life been like, you know what? I need to bring with me while I do any urination or yeah, defecation. The bathroom is a full computer with man. Like, it's like what? First of all. If you have to go that bad, just say, guys, excuse me. I don't want you to see this, but I have to go to the bathroom. I don't want you to see this. Who are these people, man? I just don't like, I wouldn't even want to bring, bro. Don't bring food into the bathroom. Don't bring your laptop into the bathroom. Yeah. Phone's okay. That's just yeah, natural. Yeah, phone's different. Phone's different. <laughs> I don't know why, but but it's... like if you're in a meet, like if you're in a meeting, I don't want the meeting to come with me to the bathroom. That's my problem. Yeah, I also just for me, it's the whole bring your laptop thing, and that's what's confused me because like well, yeah. your phone's different because it you go in and it's in your pocket, and then you sit down and you get ready, and then you take it out of your pocket, you put do the phone thing while you do the thing, and then you put it back in your pocket. But yeah. your computer, like. You either have to be holding it while you're trying yeah, to take like, your hands down, or you put it like on that old gross bath mat, like while you're putting your or, electronics, or like, on, or like it. on the on the counter even. But then you're just giving people like a look, like yeah, like you're they're looking around. And you the don't know enough to turn your video off. Well, and you you can mute you know if you really have to mute your video, mute your mic, do what you have to do. But like I've But then what's the point of bringing the computer in if you're not going to be on the fucking call? Well, if you use the listen. Oh, thank God. Hey, I don't know, man. Turn I Turn the volume up. Get earphone, get wireless headphones. Yeah. Yeah, or, you know, go to the if bathroom you're before you're your meeting. your laptop with you to, to shit while your head like well because you want to listen if you are muting your mic and turning your video off and carrying your laptop with you, buy wireless headphones. They're like $30. It's 2020. Yeah. They're not expensive anymore. They're not like Turtle Beach, $200 Beats by Dre exclusive. Like you can get $15 Skull Candy or go wireless to the bathroom headphones. first. You know what? I mean, it doesn't help some people. Yeah, listen, some of us have to pee a lot <laughs> and you can't help it. Can't help it. It's you can't. I mean, you can, but you can't. Well, okay. It's just your life. Bro, I'm so sad. I've fully given up on Sober Nova. I'm sure people have noticed. I'm pretty high looking right now, I think. Pretty yeah, red-eyed, but pretty drinking It beer. doesn't even but rhyme, so. Yeah, I also don't care. It's The world is shut down. I had two. I had a whole. Bro, I, John Doerr didn't get an open for him. Mm. Don't get to. They're canceled. They're closed. They're fucking shuttied. Yeah, GP's I done. I drove to oh. BC. I drove... I drove 27 hours so fucking Bonnie could be like, nah, Ugh. everything's closed. I got there Wednesday and Thursday they did the announcement being like, yeah, sorry, no. Ouch. And Ouch. then the club was like, well, we're going to try and see because John Doerr was booked for the Sunday and they said like all the restrictions start on Monday or whatever. So the mm. club was going to try and fight to be open for the special presentation john door and be like look we're gonna sanitize everything it's gonna be people yeah, already bought yeah, tickets yeah. like whatever whatever didn't work so i stuck around and also i was crashing my aunt's place so i gotta chill with my aunt mm -hmm. but uh i fucking spent five days in bc and drove like what it's like a, ended up with like pee breaks and stuff it was like a 13 and a half hour trip both ways Jeez. got a speeding ticket uh oh yeah so, pull over? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Buddy fucking cops. <laughs> I hate... I was telling Marito about it. I, oh, yeah. Marito... So, Marito Lopez. Yeah. Um, at, Shout out, at no At No Champagne Papi. Um, so, he... Uh, that's his Instagram handle. Um, <laughs> he was out for, like, to do two weeks in van... So he was supposed to do, uh, I don't remember. I think he was just doing like the local shows and stuff or mm -hmm. whatever. 
And then he was doing House of Comedy the week after. Key and Beatty was supposed to go out. Oh, really? And both of them, Swoop and Flair, were both like, nope, fuck you guys. You're not getting your money back. Oh. So Marito was there, and he's like, well, I have to spend like all this time, or I have to book another flight or whatever. I was like, bro, just hop in. <laughs> I'm driving nice. back home. So I had Marito for the drive home. Oh, so sweet. we like we chilled and hung out. Nice. Had fun. Marito's a beauty. Yeah, we had a lot of fun, but it was fucking brutal. It was just, we were just like, yeah, man, this sucks. Like, shit all got canceled. Like, lost money. They both lost money on their flights. Like, all of it sucks. Yeah, that's brutal. So, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, we get pulled over by the cops. And, like, 10 minutes before, I was like, do you know what's kind of nice? I was like, because of the shutdown and, like, it's dark early and, like, the roads are kind of shitty. I was like, I don't think there's going to be a lot of cops out. Like, five minutes later, just pulled over. Like, <sighs> brutal. <sighs> yeah, it sucked, too. It was, I just, like, I don't know. I don't like, <laughs> I know that it's selfish and that I'm probably wrong, but I don't like that the, the like, rules of the road aren't according to me they're like according to the law <laughs> that's kind of selfish yeah but i just it's crazy to me that they're like it's 90 here and you're like this four lane divided straight flat stretch of highway is dangerous if i'm going over 90 kilometers an hour yeah that's what you believe you truly believe that <laughs> You're good. The jurisdiction believes that this four lane highway with fucking barricades and shoulders on each side going in both directions and a meridian between is unsafe to go over 90 kilometers an hour on. No, you know, it's not safe. You know that it's fine to go safe. <laughs> than that, and you know that everyone else knows that's safer. And that's why you made that little spot at the end of it for the fucking cops to hide to pull people over. Yeah. Because for the rest of the thing, I was going fucking safely like 80, 90 kilometers because it was twisted and slippery and whatever the fuck and I was like oh my god like it's been such a fucking long haul 13 hour drive yeah. nice flat stretch of road the snow's lifted sun's out let's fucking just speed up a little bit whoop whoop oh yeah thank you for flashing your brights in my face and pulling a U-turn so you could pull us over that's <laughs> so much safer than what I was doing yeah. you fu- like it's I no, I was breaking the law what I was doing was not legal to do but the Fair. law is fucking dumb. The like, law is dumb. I just wish that like they would at least address that like parts of the highway are safer. Like, yes, I understand why the highway is limited to 90. Mm-hmm. But like, can we just get this little stretch bumped up? Just put a little sign like, hey, this flat bit is a buck 30. Give her. A buck 30. <laughs> just give her. It's a buck 20 on the Coke. Really? Yeah. Damn. Like, I don't understand. And they have variable speed things where it's like, okay, it's 100 here and then 120 and they change it on like these little electronic things. But nope, through the fucking Banff Park. Whoa. They they literally have electronic signs to say that the next turn is in one kilometer. I'm like, when would that ever need to be off? The next turn's always going to be in one kilometer. Yeah. Like, why would you waste the money on an electric sign for that instead of putting electric time for the fucking speed limit to change? Yeah, why would that ever be off? That's dumb. That's so dumb. It says one kilometer, and then there's ones that are electronic that are arrows. And it's like, I just hate. <laughs> it's, I, I've, I've added this into a bit that I'm doing recently, but like I hate, not only do I hate getting pulled over for stuff that like is technically illegal, but like super safe. Yeah. I hate getting pulled over by police officers because I'm like, you have a gun. This is about a traffic fine. Yeah. Like, what is happening? Go do something else, you fucking loser. Like, <laughs> you fucking loser. Traffic cops are the worst. If you ever see a cop, I I like cops. I don't condone being mean to police officers. I don't like the ACAB hashtag thing. Yeah. But if you see a cop in a yellow jacket that says traffic on it, yell mean things at him. It's not illegal to do. As long as you don't swear or say anything threatening, you can just be like, hey, the other cops don't like you. Traffic cops are losers. You not, don't actually have a dangerous job. You just have a badge. Ooh. Like Things like that. Bam, 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 bam. Because that's true. They have a gun and a badge and handcuffs so they can pull over moms who are doing 15 over. Yeah. It's like, get the fuck out of here, you nerds. Yeah, like, get a better job. 
There's is, so many on the force. You're the weakest people out there. You're the loserest cops. Go be a real police officer. Find a murderer or something. Yeah, it's like when we say defund the police or whatever, we're like, yeah, I mean, not traffic even cops. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. whole traffic department can be fucking gonzo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, out of here. Out of here. And the whole thing, they're like, oh, well, well, they need the tax money for the speeding tickets. Yeah, you know what they could save the money on instead is firing the whole traffic department. Oh, yeah. And also, why do you, why do the, why does all these programs depend on you catching people speeding? Yeah, bro. Like, like, it's so crazy, like, how often I get caught speeding by surprise, but how long it takes to show up to an accident on purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you happen to be around these speeders, but you're never anywhere near an accident. Yeah, that's a good point. That's Doesn't that seem strange if the speeding is causing all the accidents? It does, yeah. Don't you think you would be near the accidents if you're near the speeders, but if there's a correlation between the, the two? speeding by being here. You're not. You're seeing it happen. And then or you're seeing it happen. And then you're giving me a ticket, and then I'm driving away, and then as soon as you're out of my mirror, I'm resuming speed. Yeah. Hey, uh, Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson fight this weekend. I can't wait, man. Did you listen to Roy Jones on Rogan? No. Oh, buddy, you should before the fight. Did you hear what the rules of the fight are? No. You're not allowed to knock each other out. You're not allowed to, like, it's, they're like, they like doubled down on the, Dana White was laughing hysterically at it because it's, it's an exhibition. It's not a fight. There's no judges. There's no scores. So what do they think of it? Because Roy Jones was saying that, well, he was on Rogan, was that, like, technically it's an exhibition, but he was like, we're not wearing headgear, we're not yeah. doing this shit, it's not an exhibition. <clears throat> it like, is an exhibition, yeah. But now, so he was lying while he was on Rogan. No, that's the, they're, so they're, just, they're just not treating it that way, but, like, those are the rules. But did they agree to the rules? Or of course they, they did, yeah. But, but did they, like, legitimately agree to the rules? And They've like, signed contracts to do the fight. I know, but right. are they like, because you know what I mean? Like when someone agrees to the, we're like, I don't know how to put this, but like you can tell when someone's like going, like they sign a thing and then they go out and be like, you know, it's, we're taking this very serious. Like this is just an amateur fight. It's, oh, I know this or whatever. <clears throat> or did they sign the thing and then keep their mouth shut and be like, that's what the rules say. No, they've been, they've been they've been talking about how it's a real fight, but like, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's going to be a real fight then. Cause they're like they might. Cause like, if they, they just, might just fucking stop it, I don't know. They said if any, if anyone gets a cut, it's over. Um, yeah, they, but they. If anyone gets a cut, it's over, uh, and no knockouts. What happens? And like, no, no score. There's a belt on the line, but they're both getting a belt. What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's there's, the most there's participation. No, there's, there's no ribbon. scoring. Thing I've ever heard. Well, they're they're not entire... scoring it because it's an exhibition. That's crazy. There's no scoring and no knockouts. So like, what, like, what are they gonna do though? Like, what if, what if Mike Tyson, fucking, dummies oh. Roy Jones and he falls down and then he gets back up and just starts hitting Mike Tyson again? He's, like, what's the ref gonna be? Like, hey boys, fellas, hey, listen here. I have, I have no idea. I'm curious to see because the like it's been billed as a fight, but it's being like it's. The rules are that it's an exhibition, and in in other exhibitions, guys just you know, doosh, 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 doosh. Um, Mayweather had an exhibition against uh, a Japanese fighter and knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what their rules were though. Can you imagine just being like, like why? First of all, why? But like money. Can you? I guess. Can you imagine just being a fighter and being like, all right, fucking exhibition. We're going in, we're fighting fucking Mayweather exhibition. It'll be fine. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, fuck, yeah. man, he really hit me. <laughs> Why did he? What the fuck? I thought this was an exhibition. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, no, it's, it's supposed to be like hard sparring. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, can you imagine getting knocked the fuck out and be like, bro, like, what? Hey, my contract said it was an exhibition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I thought we were just, I thought it was like sparring, but more. I didn't yeah. think you were going to fight. Like, cause that's also the other thing. Like, what do you do if you're, if you're against Mayweather and you know that like he would murder you regularly, are you allowed to go as hard as you want? Because for him, that's exhibition speed. 
or does that then give him the green light to be like, all right, well, he threw. I, I mean, the, the other guy is a fighter, too. Like he's, Yeah, you know, but he's... <laughs> Klein, he's come yeah. on. Oh, I'm, he, he was an unnamed fighter fighting. Well, no, he he was like a he was named from. Like where was he ranked? Well, he he's like a known guy in Japan. That's why he was the guy who got to fight Mayweather. But still, but that's what I mean. Yeah, it's like an but exhibition. Like a, You're like some unranked dude. It's like yeah, you know what I mean. It's like when a NHL team comes to town and they're like, "Well, we need to practice." So like, just give us whoever. What do you got? Like a college or a WHL? Yeah, yeah, give us yeah. give whoever you got. Yeah. It's like, how hard are you allowed to go on those guys? Because <laughs> if you injure McDavid, you're a dick. You're dead. But like, yeah. if you just let them run you over, it's like, well, what was even the point of this? Yeah. <laughs> so like. Yeah, I know. It's always interesting. Like, is, is one guy going to try and make a name for himself? Yeah. Like, what Like, what do you do here? Because I've heard that like the women's Olympic team will like play against some like men's teams. Like, yeah. Like junior. Yeah, like junior men's or something. I remember one of my friend's brothers played against them. And it was like, what do you... Because you, they play like no contact rules, but there's all like there's going to be contact. So mm-hmm. they're like, well, how hard are we going in the boards? Like, yeah, yeah. Against this women's Olympics team. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then you don't want to get dummied by them. Like you don't want to get like, you know, yeah, knocked around but by you, them. You also don't want to like break an ankle <clears throat> of like a first liner yeah. on the women's like b- the gold medal Olympic team like no doubt so like you're really trying to not be chippy in the corners but some chick comes in like slashing you in the shins and you're like well what am I gonna do yeah. like are we fighting <laughs> like do I fucking shiver into the walls like how hard am I allowed to go drop the meds baby but that's what I mean for this like if you're the guy who's in the exhibition where you know, like no matter how hard you go, he's going to win this. Yeah. Like how hard are you allowed to go then? Like if it's an exhibition. Yeah. Not hard. Not hard. Well, then he knocks you the fuck out and you're like, God damn it. Yeah. If I would have known. Yeah. I always hated that in practice. I hated when we do practice and coach was like, all right, we're doing like 70%. I'm like, what does that mean? Yeah. Like, what does 70% mean? Like what? So now if I hurt a guy, I'm the biggest asshole on the team. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry that my 70% dummies this kid. Like I didn't mean to, or vice versa. You know what I mean? Like I'd get fucking smoked. I'd be like, Oh, we said 70% yeah. asshole. Yeah. Like that was 85. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like what? <laughs> oh man. I hated it. Yeah. I don't like getting rocked in practice. Yeah, that was the worst too. I remember we played men's league. I mean, my brother played men's league like very briefly for football. And it was like I played a couple more games than him because he was I don't know, he's 2 years older and he saw he saw the writing on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> but like our coach quit cuz he was just like, "No, like you no one's listening. Like this is insane." Yeah, yeah. And so, uh it was like run by a player who was the coach who's like, that's how it was done like the years before, but they tried to like get like legitimate. Mm -hmm. But then like in practice, I remember this guy like ran like a sweep and he was running like far outside and I was like defensive halfback and we were going like whatever, like full contact, but like don't go to the ground, just kind of like bump into each other. Mm -hmm. And so we're running and he's runs around the outside and he gets to the fucking outside and I chase him down and I'm standing in front of him and I kind of like stop my feet and open my arms and he just fucking like buries his head into my chest and like blew me the fuck up and I was like bro what but like we had beef because another time when we had like a full (laughs) contact drill we'd like smoked each other we like went head to head like four or five times in a row and we're just like blasting each other oh my god but then like later in practice he runs a sweep we're doing like a 50% like non-contact drill just blows me up like oh for no reason God. in the middle of practice almost starts a fist fight between the offense and the defense because like the defense comes to my defense like what the fuck are you doing and he's like this guy's fucking all practice and then like whatever and then yeah, his yeah. linemen are trying to like defend him being like you defense guys are pussies like you hit us and then as soon as we hit you like you get mad we're like we're doing the tackling motherfucker like yeah we're yeah. supposed to wrap you up like you're not supposed to bury your head into my chest like God, that's so stupid. Yeah, so then we like did that and no one ever showed up to practice and then people would show up on game day and then we're like would ask questions in the huddle. You're like, bro, how, like what, how did you miss every practice and just show up and be like, hey, they'll tell me the game plan while we're on the field. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh man. So I quit after a few weeks, but 
my brother quit before I think after our first game. That's probably fair. Probably for the best. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I do miss football though. Yeah. But your brain probably is cool with you not playing football. Yeah, probably pretty happy about it. Probably pretty stoked. <laughs> Probably pretty stoked. My brain's like, I haven't had a blood clot in a while. This is, yeah, this is fucking... I could get used to this. <laughs> 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 this is all right. This is all right. It's so bad. Fuck. All right. All right, Fortin. Fucking flowing? keep her going, bud. <laughs> this comedy's a lot less... It's more depressing, but it's less fucking... <laughs> it's honestly not that much more depressing. <laughs> yeah. Just the depression's real. It's not like because of brain trauma. Yeah. yeah. It's because like, of real trauma. But I imagine... <laughs> I imagine if I'd like continued with football seriously, the, my life wouldn't be any more on track. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So it's like all the sadness would have still been there because that's not from comedy. That's from life. That's from life. That's very true. Yeah. Well, on that fun note, do you have any, <laughs> do you have any shows to promote? <laughs> no. Fuck no. <laughs> Fucking no. Uh-uh. This, keep watching this. This is me doing stand-up the show. for the next while. So get your fucking, get it in ya. Watch us. Listen to us. Get my entertainment inside of you, please. Get it. I'm not going to continue on that. That's gross. I want to. Get we, it deep inside ya. Can we start a Patreon or something? Can we profit off this somehow? I have no money. Well, we can try. Um, we could ask our listeners profit, profit us, send us profit, profit us. <laughs> we'll find something. We'll figure something out. We'll give you guys something for something. Yeah. And until we do that, <laughs> it might keep be listening a, to this shit. It might be a sex thing. It's a morning show. Might be a sex thing. It's a morning show. Morning Wood, our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name of our show. We're changing it again. <laughs> Somehow keeping the same logo. <laughs> no, it's going to be us as sticks this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Morning wood. But with branches coming out of it, like yes. sticks with little twigs. Yes. It's going to be <laughs> veiny, sort of veiny sexual. Veiny twigs with two leaves at the bottom. And then two very round leaves. <laughs> Ball right. sacks are weird looking. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your breakfast. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.